Are you jealous? You should be, because I'm getting the ride of your life. Step one, get in the truck. How often do you roll over? Step two, listen very carefully to a long list of very important instructions. 40% of the time? Okay. Step three, carefully review everything you've learned. Oh man, I should have paid better attention. Jamie uh, threw himself off the building. <laughs> I'm not even sure where the gas is. Somebody's got to do it. Really? On this episode, big piles of dirt, huge tires, a booming voice, Milwaukee, some tremendously bad grammar, ain't got no stuff, and monster trucks. We dig into the passion and hard work it takes to create one of the most popular, family-friendly entertainment franchises in the world. What kind of mileage are you in this thing? It's not the miles per gallon, it's the smiles per gallon. Smiles per gallon, great, yeah. that's good. This is the Harris Bradley Arena, home to the Milwaukee Bucks. But not today. Today, the Bucks are out, the trucks are in, and this famous basketball venue is about to get a very dirty makeover. I'm gonna repeat myself a couple times. I'm just getting my head around this one this morning. Last night, here at the uh, Bradley Center, there was a basketball game. Marquette played, they won in the final minute. This was a basketball court. It's also an ice skating rink, naturally. And these guys have about 10 hours to turn it into a monster truck jam. So they've got, how much dirt, Caden? Is that 1,200? 1200, 1,200 yards of dirt. How much is that? Oh gosh, 36 to 40 dump truck loads. There you go, 40 dump trucks full of dirt are going to come here. And I just learned that the monster truck thing is the largest entertainment company in the world, in the world, the largest one in the world, the whole wide world. You could fill a book with what I don't know. But now I know that. Just in time. I didn't come here to give Monster Jam a bunch of free press. Trust me, they don't need it. I came here because I'd like to understand why, in this day and age of fractured schedules and short attention spans, hundreds of thousands of people from all ages and backgrounds are paying millions of dollars to come together and watch grown men drive giant trucks with names like Gravedigger and Maximum Destruction over piles of smashed up cars. And to hang out with this guy, Morgan Kane, who appears to be kind of a big deal. You, you drive the truck, the truck's called Max D. Yep. Morgan Kane drives the truck. The truck will be here later. I'm told that if the stars line up right, I might have an opportunity to sit in the truck anyway. Uh, we're gonna get you. Maybe even touch some, some controls. Somebody's gotta do it, so. <laughs> I'm no expert, but I do believe that's the first load of dirt. When you're around this much dirt, you gotta sign this much paperwork. Do you have a sense of what's happening here? Everywhere you look, the dirt's coming in. It's beep, beep, beep. It's a game of inches everywhere. It's a, literally, it's a parade of dirt. Of course, you can't just dump the dirt. You gotta shape the dirt. That requires a professional. All right, so that's a uh, bulldozer, and that's a pile of dirt, and this is a skid steer, and this is Steve. I'm Steve, that's a skid steer. To be absolutely clear, and that's the pile of dirt back there. Let's review. Skid steer, pile of dirt, guy named Steve. Steve. You're basically in charge of building the track. I am. The track itself is starting to come together, but yes. what's this? In my pocket, I have a handy dandy track diagram. Oh my goodness, this is exciting. Yes, this is a log. This is loader tires. What's, what, what happens with the log? We actually bury the log in the dirt, and the monster trucks will hit it. Pops it straight in the air. No kidding. Yeah. You I'm got all this? There's a log right down there. What kind of log is it? You got logs all over the country? What kind of tree did it that come from? That log came from uh, Hampton, Virginia. Oh, it's a Virginia log. Excellent, good. We take the log with us everywhere we go. Do you really? It's my log. Steve's got his very own log. I got my own log. He and his log have been around the world. Yes. You gonna let me hop in the uh, official Monster Jam skid steer <laughs> yep. thing? It's not my first day in a skid steer or around a big pile of dirt. I want you to redo the, do the face of it. Make it look pretty. But of course, experience and skill, not always one and the same. Oh. He's in the wrong spot. <laughs> so 
up like that. No, no, not really. What's the, what's the matter with it? See how mine's nice and flat and straight? Yeah. Yours has got a big hump in it. It looks pretty, pretty similar from here. <laughs> how does it look now? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I think it's gone pretty well. I'm telling you, man, that truck will take off like a rocket when it hits that thing. <laughs> when it hits the hole in the face of it or the top? E either one. <laughs> All right, look, I'm doing a terrible job. We have a bulldozer. We can fix it. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm getting any positive feedback. You want to come in here and show me how it's done? Sure, I'd love to. I especially like how you got her parked. Oh, I'm pretty sure it isn't going to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel as though I was adequately trained. <laughs> All right. Like every other thing in life, preparing the arena for a uh, monster jam is a lot harder than it looks. Steve, as you can see, is very good at what he does. So is everybody else here. When this is done, can you drive over this thing oh, yeah. tonight? We'll jump it. No, not we, but I, I can't wait to see you do it. You mean not we? Don't you want to jump it? I mean, I'll run up there right now. I'll hop off that thing. But in your vehicle, unlikely. Are you scared? Yeah. OK, that was fun, but eventually, I'm going to need to see one of these monster trucks in person. Morgan assures me they're around. A lot of stuff moving around. Man, That's this, this whole place is one giant moving part. Yeah. I don't want to open up too much doors, but yeah, it's just I'll a get peek. To... Just a peek at the monster truck. <laughs> Can't show it to you yet. I'll just, get to the That's enough. That's enough. For the record, this is not a monster truck. This is a cute little buggy I've been allowed to drive. No graceful way to do it, is there? Probably to yeah. boost my confidence and self-esteem. <laughs> go that way, go that way. Yeah. Man, you're getting... You gotta go to the right, to the right, to the right. Come on, Mike! Straight, straight. 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 Just completely straight. 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 That's not straight? God bless America, I don't get it. Come on! How'd you get it in here is my question. You're doing a fine job, Mike, but we uh, we got a time restriction here, so I'm gonna have to ask you to hop on out. Yeah, that was empowering. Maybe I'll do better on Morgan's big truck, Max D. They're coming out of here? Yep. I was sure the tires would be bigger. Yeah. The traveling tires are not so monstrous. The engine, however, is. You ready, buddy? Yep, 10-4. Oh, that's why monster trucks are so important. Don't forget. That was me trying to tell you that bigger is better especially when it comes to tires. Man, how fun would it be to call, call AAA, you yeah. know? Just put it out <laughs> on the road and give them a call. Just, I just need a quick tire change. Yeah, yeah. Well, why call AAA when you have a B-list celebrity on hand? Good work's hard to find. It is, isn't it? Getting it? Yeah. No. Maybe. These Terra tires were developed specifically for tractors and farm equipment. But here in America, it was only a matter of time till someone put them on a pickup truck. There you go. I think that's it. Yeah. Morgan let me change his tires, poke around under the hood, adjust okay. the shocks, a little more, and do some other stuff that, frankly, I have no hope of understanding. But he also introduced me to Cody Saucier, another driver on the circuit who's also a friend and a competitor. How do you wind up driving one of these things? It must work be hard. just like the... You work hard, you bust your butt. Don't give up. I've always right. wanted to do it ever since I was a kid. Yeah. That was how I got in. I mean, I was always getting on anything we could to race and yeah. be competitive. And Cody's the same way. I mean, we're in it to win it. Dude, how much, how much fun are you having, seriously? It's fun. I mean, it, it's a lot of hard work. Play with trucks. Yeah. This is a straight up competition. There are judges on hand. There's real money at stake. And of course, the undeniable drive to be the best. The guys you jump over? 
These are the cars, yep. The way they are, they set them on the ground and say hit them. Yeah. And you have to line the front tires up the best you can with the, with the tires on the car. Right. Because that's the hardest pot, spot of the car. Because if you slide this way and one tire hits the back door and one tire hits the hood, it's just going to crush and it's going to throw you you're this gonna, way. You're going to You're going to roll over. over. Yep. So it's not as simple as just running it's, into a car. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit more thinking going into that. So these go inside, obviously? Yep, they'll bring them inside, lay them out, and then the, the track crew, they'll paint them. Oh, so we can paint some cars. You're going to paint. Now it's ready for Monster Jam. Now it's ready. The Bradley Center is getting a Monster Jam makeover. Time for me to do the same. I'm just going to slip into something less flammable. I'm assured that with the proper attire, boots, jacket, and gloves, I too can look like a Monster Jam driver. Okay, so you got your suit on. I got my suit on, man. All right. I've never gloves. felt better. I got the gloves. They fit do you like feel safe? gloves. Do you feel safe? It depends. What, what are we doing? We're going to jump. We're going to ride around. You tell me to go faster, thumbs up, slow down. You're driving, I feel safe. This is what people okay. pay you to do this. Yeah. Your job is to tell me what to do. My job is to watch you and pay uh, you a very predictable series of compliments. They always tell me I got to sell you a ticket. So I'm going to try and sell you a ticket. Sell me a ticket, man. I want you to talk to me like the biggest fan that you have. Imagine I'm one of them in here and you're showing that fan everything that they would want to see. Make their dreams come true through me. For them, it'd be the ride of their life. Are you jealous? You should be, because I'm getting the ride of your life. What's this situation? Okay, so this right here is going to be your handle. You're going to hang on to that. For dear life. How often do you roll over? Uh, I don't know. I would, if it was a percentage, I would say probably 40% of the time. Okay. It's a lot of fun. It's exciting. It is. I don't think I can do that, though, honestly. I could maybe drive it around at a reasonable speed, but I don't, I don't know if anybody wants to see that. You guys want to see that? All right. Turns out not everybody wants to see that. Jamie's freaking out right now. At least, not this guy. <laughs> Jamie, the director of operations. He's hovering around to make sure we don't get in the way or, you know, wreck anything. What are we doing? We're going to cruise around. Do you want that to happen? No. The viewers do. My heart's beating a little faster than it was well, 10 minutes good, ago. That's good, man. Nice and slow. <laughs> With the friends, it, into a frenzy with speeds approaching four miles an hour. I usually need to get approval. You understand what I'm saying? Are you kidding me? I want to creep over these things. I'm not sure what the fuss is all about. I mean, they've already seen my affinity for machines of all kinds. Are we good with it, Jamie? My job is in your hands right now, Mr. Rowe. No, this will be just Sunday. Sunday driving. Sunday driving, yeah. Little old lady drove it to church. All right. Stress level out the roof right now. I'm almost sure we can give him a, just a massive stroke. It's going to break my stuff, isn't he? All right. You got to take the corner slow, though, OK? What's that? Take the corner slow. Apparently, the Jamie corner? isn't the only one worried sure. about my driving sure. abilities. Yep. All right, slow down a little. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Gotta take the corner slow. Do a what? If you take take the corner slow because it'll tip up on you. There you go. Oh, slow that bird! What am I talking about? Alright. Nice. That was nice. Jamie, you okay? He had me. He had me too. Okay. He had me right there. Did it? Oh, yeah. Thanks for letting me do that. That's no really nice. That was yes. nice. Good job, man. Thanks. But Morgan has got even bigger plans for me, which will really make Jamie crazy. <laughs> Hurry up and get you in a truck. <laughs> but you can't really ride with me in the truck, can you? No. I don't know if I'd want to. <laughs> I 
I don't know if it's a sport or a spectacle, but whatever it is, families love it. The list of people allowed to sit inside one of these things is pretty short, but I'm getting the impression it's about to get a little longer. All right, so the situation that is, um, <clears throat> we can't be down here when you do what you're about to do. Mm -hmm. So what happens? You climb in, fire it up, we run? Yes. We uh, speed walk. We locomote. It's a okay. good choice of words. <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, I'm probably just going to go out, feel the track out, maybe do a donut, do a jump. What kind of mileage you get in this thing? It's not the miles per gallon, it's the smiles per gallon. Smiles per gallon, great, yeah. that's good. That's clever. All right, off you go then, good luck. See ya. <laughs> Hands at 10 and two. Yeah. Nobody right. likes a show off. Morgan's truck houses a 540 cubic inch big block Chevrolet engine. It's gonna be loud. It's gonna be super loud. And this is what it sounds like without the obligatory guitar track. I'm gonna fire up, all right? <laughs> Hey, it's important to try new things, right? Hey. This is bananas. That's what the show's about. All right, what can I do? What will you let me do? Well, I've lined you up, and with Jamie's approval. Oh, Jamie uh, threw himself off the building. <laughs> <laughs> so right here, we lined you up with this jump right here. You're going to cruise up, and you're going to stop up on top. OK? Yeah. Step one, get in the truck. <laughs> OK, I'm in. But it's just more like a spaceship than a truck. All you gotta do is you press this starter button. Mm -hmm. Before you fire it up, pull this fuel on, and then all switches are gonna be up. Step two, listen very carefully to a long list of very important instructions. And then when you get on top, hit the brake, put it in park, and then shut the fuel off. All right, go for it. Step three, carefully review everything you've learned. Oh man, I should have paid better attention. Okay, track is clear. The mission seems simple, drive the truck onto that mound of dirt, but it's actually complicated. You see, Morgan has begged me not to wreck his quarter million dollar truck. Jamie has begged me not to wreck his career. My producer, however, would like me to stomp on the gas and send this monster flying high into the heavens. And let's face it, so do you. But this guy has a remote control switch to make sure I don't do anything to, oh, what's the word? Uh, stupid. Fire and hold. And these guys are standing by, just in case the whole arena goes up in a fireball. Me? I'm not even sure where the gas is. Here we go. Power, ignition, and blast off. Woo! His wheels came off the ground. Ignition off. I think I did it. <laughs> that worried somebody. Great job. Great job. Hey, 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 hey. Please take your seats. It was nothing. <laughs> somebody got air on that one. Look at that. I got some air, and Jamie didn't faint. Nice job. Yeah? Very nice. Good job, brother. That's cool. Yeah. It's got a lot of uh, what you call uh, uh, torque, I guess. It does. Well, thank you for showing me around and let, yeah. me, let me drive your rig. It's awesome. And um, where's Jay? Jamie, you OK? You feel like you feel good. Cathartic? You feel like from a PR branding standpoint, we did okay. You did an excellent job. A real pleasure. Yeah, man. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It was fun. Yeah, uh, you got great fans. You got a great job. Thank you. Somebody's got to do it. Really? Seriously, I had to plug that. Honestly, I had to plug it. Sorry. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was good. That was good. Okay. Look, somebody got hurt. You told me yesterday that Monster Jam was one of the largest entertainment companies in the world. I wouldn't have believed you. But after spending a day with their incredibly dedicated team, 
it's easy to see why they are. Hundreds of passionate, hardworking crew members getting to play in the dirt every day, like little children, while using their talents to bring people and families together, putting smiles on their faces through two hours of good old-fashioned harmless fun. Well, mostly harmless. 